everybody, this is my grandma. We're at my grandma's house, and she's going to be teaching me how to do string games. This is my Lonnie Bonnie. We haven't seen you guys for a long while since the fry bread days. <laughs> and so now we're into string games. Now, uh, the reason why the Navajos, uh, basically the real, real reason we uh, were taught string games is for wisdom so that you can be wise and learn. You need to have a memory and it's really important. Now in order to do the string, I mean to, to get your string, Lonnie, mm -hmm. you, I always tell people make sure you wind it around your elbow and that that's the, side, the length of the string you should have. Okay, mm -hmm. a little long for Lonnie but it's okay. This is the cultural teachings is that you only do the string games in the winter time. You're not supposed to be in competition with the spider because he's supposed to be sleeping while you're doing this kind of stuff that they do, weaving. And um, so that's basically, that's what the folk tale is all about, Navajo cultural wise. So anyways, let me go ahead and I'm gonna start. I already wrote the names of the, the things that I'm using and this is uh, Kehlani, can you pronounce that? No. <laughs> Beadlane. Be, be be Beadlane is cup. Beadlane. Be okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, start. Whoops. Now, it does take brain power, okay, to do this, so I might muff a little, but I'm going to go ahead and start and I'm going to make a cup. This is called a tea. Teacup. Oh. Teacup and seltzer. Well, Beaglana. Okay. Beaglana? Yeah. Beaglana is a cup. Oh. And here there's a saucer and a teacup. Now, then with that, I'm going to make next card. Oh. Next card, we are going to make. Whoops, let me use my right my my real fingers. This is called Dien. Banal Ahe. This is a little angel. Okay, Dien Banal Ahe. Can you say that, Lonnie? Dien Banal Ahe. That's an angel. Okay, oh. so now, then what we're going to do is the next one. What is that? So. So. Oh, I got it. So it means we are going to make what? A star. A star. And. Oh, that's really cool. There is our star. <laughs> that's actually really Hurrah! cool. Very nice. See, this is what the spiders do in the background when we're sleeping in our house. They're making all this hoo-ha, and uh, it's kind of fun to think. But that's a star. Now, the next thing, what are we going to do? We're going to do a gate. Right, but how do you say it? A dot dil call. Dot, dot, dot dil call. Dot dil call means a gate or a door. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and make, uh, we will learn, we will do this on our own, and hopefully we do this right. Now, I've got, I'm not a spider woman, so, okay. So what I do, oh my now goodness. here is a gate, <laughs> and then we're going <laughs> to open the gate. Okay. Oh my gosh! Yeehaw! Well, how did you do that? <laughs> that is a gate. Oh how do you say it? Um, da dil call. Da dil call. Da dil call. Means the door that closes. Oh my gosh! Okay, good job. <laughs> now, next we're gonna do what? Slon. Oh. It goes. That that has a slon. Slon be adil glohe means fish trap. Okay, now we're going to do this a different way. And, you know, spiders must really have quite a life because if they can do stuff like this, uh, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm turning into spider woman, right? Okay, now, uh, at this point, now this one we have to kind of maneuver with both hands and remember this is a fish trap okay 
Oh my word. That's crazy. And then, <laughs> that's part what? of it. That's part of it, okay? Now we've got to put this. This is quite a spider job. Now see, if you look at it, it you have to kind of move this down oh to make goodness. it. And if you know what a, a, a fish trap looks like. That is a fish trap. That's a fish trap. Oh my gosh. Okay. That, and how do you say that? You say... Clo be a de glohe. Clo be a de glohe. Ooh, look at that. Oh, oh, that's cool. Swing in enunciation. Okay, uh, that that is and the next one. Okay, so the, the, that's the one we just finished. The fish trap. Yes, the fish trap. Now, let me, this is kind of, there. Real swinging people who know how to do this. Uh, okay, this is, now this one is a witch's broom. And this is called, Adil, Adil Gashe Be Nahal Johi. Adil Gashe. People who are witches, Adil Gashe, they'll, they'll go like this. Adil Gashe Be Nahal Johi means witch's broom. People will probably laugh if you're Native American you listen to this, okay? So, a witch's broom, um, this one you just use one hand and you pull and you pull again, okay? Okay. And then you go in here, you grab these two things, okay? To the, you pull like this. Oh my goodness. Take your three fingers. I don't know how spiders do this, but they do. Then you pull. And there is the witch's broom. <laughs> that, That's cool. That's uh, really cool, actually. So how do you say it again? Adiklashnebe nathazoni. We'll say that. Got it. She's, uh, she, uh, she speaks Finnish. I know. I, I, I tease her. <laughs> but anyways, it's kind of cute. She tries, and she speaks fluent uh, Chinese, which is, makes her enunciations really well in Navajo. My little granddaughter, I'm proud of. Okay, this is the last one. This is called Kelani. It's oh. a butterfly. Ka loge. Ka loge. Ka loge. Ka loge. This is a butterfly. Now we're going to do the butterfly. Now this is a little different. Go like this. And then, like so. <laughs> and then. This is crazy. Okay, wait. I've got to make sure Spider Woman here has got to do it right. Okay, then we let it go. Oh my goodness. And come up. And then, this is hopefully, we'll pray that I do it right. And here is our butterfly. Oh, uh -oh, okay. I always muff this, but it's okay. This is a butterfly. Whether you think it is or not, it <laughs> is a butterfly. <laughs> woo -hoo. So, this is the end of our little spider adventure. And I promise you, spiders do not sleep in my house. <laughs> they do not hibernate. And... Uh, we just swat them around, but this is basically if you can tell it takes Wisdom it takes brains to be able to pick out the right strings to do certain things like this and to be able to make sure that you have the right you know strings and then you you know it's just it's so important and and it does take brains it takes mental capacity to be able to do this that's why this is really for wisdom, learning wisdom. So that is it. And Lottie Bonnie, I don't know if you ever heard of Cat's Cradle? Yes. Do you know how to do that? No. Okay, <laughs> we'll do the Cat's Cradle. Okay. okay. You can help me. And this is going to be a kind of a kid's oh. game. I don't know if you remember, you remember doing this. Uh, I'll go I like this. Grandma just does this once. I never did it with you. And then we go like so. And then. Lonnie is going to pick up the, the two. No, 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 no. You have to put the X. 
yeah, hold the X and then go underneath and then I let go. Then I go like this, right? Uh huh. And then I do the X. Oh. And see, so you keep doing this till then you let, let, kind of let loose. See? Now, do you know how to do that one? <laughs> no. Okay, now <laughs> take, your, take your little pinky, your little thumb. Mm -hmm. Now pull this one. Pull this one. Okay. Your pinky. You have to hang on to it. Don't let it go. Oh. Now take your other pinky and pull the other one. Right here. This, that one. Now pull it. And then go. Oh, don't, <laughs> don't. Okay, now go in. Now, you have to put your thumb. Your thumb. Okay, go scoop under. Scoop right there. And guess what? Oh, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you kind of little made it a skinny little thing for me. Oh. But it, then it turns back into, well, it was supposed to. <laughs> Lonnie Bonnie, you silly goose. Okay, well, anyways, you're supposed to be able to do this like so, and uh, let me see if I can find it. Okay, hold on. My little granddaughter, silly goose. No, it's not gonna. It's not gonna work. But anyways, <laughs> you get the gist of how you just keep doing that over and over and over, and you can do it fast. And then you see how long it takes to do the cat's cradle. By the, I, you, I do it, then you do it, and then we do it. And and whoever muffs it f uh, first, Lose. like somebody I know to my left, uh, basically <laughs> uh, the person who doesn't flub wins. So that's the end of our presentation. I hope you enjoyed this. And I miss everyone that has made wonderful comments. And we're going to keep making little videos to let you know we're still here. Grandma Frankie's still here. And my Lonnie Bonnie is my little pretty girl. <laughs> and she's still here by my side. But I hope you have fun. Enjoy trying to be creative. and Learn, learn something like this. It'll help your brain powers. Over and out. 10-4. Thank Hot you so it. much, Grandma. Hot on it. Hot on it. Hot on it. We're going to break down the string game step by step so that you guys can do it at home. First off, we're going to do is a cup. So what we're going to do is take a string. Now remember, it has to be the length of your elbow and you double the string. Okay? Okay, then you use your pinky and your thumb, and you bring your, well actually, I like to do my middle finger, but do your pinky finger, your pointer finger. And you go down, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I'm, I'm not going to explain all the things. I'm, and then in order to do the cup, which is the beltlane, that's the teacup, okay? Then, in the same uh, string, you make the angel. And this is the angel. Okay, there's the angel. And it's called the yin banal ai. And then, from there, we're going to go ahead and make the soul, which is the star. Now let me go ahead and we'll take that and there is the star, okay?
Now, we're next, go. we're going to do the Datilkal, Datilkal, which is the gate. Okay. Now, the, now you just use this regular string mm -hmm. and use your pinky. Uh, I'm just going to show you. I'm not going to expect. I'm, I'm not a super duper teacher. Spider woman here. And I'll just show you what I do. And here's the gate. And then the gate opens. Now, sometimes that little knot is a stinker. So there it is. Now we open the gate. Okay. That's kind of fun. Next. Next thing we're going to do is the fish trap. And that's Slo Okay, so now that one you wrap around your wrist and you come out like this, go down here, grab the string, separate it, put on your little pinky and your thumb. And then you take your pointer and your middle finger, go in there, pull that, and then you want to go back and put your pointer and your middle finger and let let go. Then you see this one you have to kind of manually uh, move around and you put your other pinky and middle pointer and middle finger and you you have part of your fish trap here and then you pull it with your finger and then you have to come over here to finish okay and thereby you have your little fish trap
So, it, these are, you know, it takes practice to do this. I think, you know, once your grandmother has shown you, you know, it kind of comes back like riding a horse, they say. And so, anyways, the next we're going to do is... Do witch's broom. Okay, Adilkanshipe Nahaljohi. That's what that's called. Okay. The witch's broom. Now, this one, you just pull the middle once. Pull it again. Mm -hmm. And then you go in here. I'm just going to show you what to do. Pull, you grab the string, you pull it, and then you put your three little, there's a knot, um, that little stinky knot, I hate the knot. Okay, and you lay this on the back, then you pull the string, and there's the witch's broom. Okay. Then the last one is the butterfly. Butterfly, and it's al aloge. Okay, now we're gonna put our hands in here. Mm -hmm. Our pointer finger in there, I should say. Okay, we pick the that one here. I don't know which one it is, but I know everything I'm doing by heart. Okay, pinky. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you let go of the thumb. <gasps> Yay! And then you pick these two up. Okay, make sure you pick up the right ones. Okay. Then there's these little, you put your finger in here. Let your pinky go, mm -hmm. and this is supposed to be a butterfly. Hold on. Oh, it worked! <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> butterfly. <laughs> okay. Yay! It worked. It's so beautiful. I've never appreciated a string butterfly. Well, so I mean, much. usually it will Anyways. So much for the butterfly. Thank you so much, Grandma. Hug on it. Hug on it. Hug on it.